Hello, hello, hello. Shut that off. So we have the camera at a different angle, just a little bit. So we're going to be a lot closer to the screen tonight. Just want to make sure we're even. <laughs> it was a quickie. Tape it up there and go. All right. Vanna has joined us. <laughs> Manna. Manna? We're going to call you Manna instead of Anna. Manna, wait. Gang's all here? Oh, yeah. I will show um, a couple of paintings after we show these from last week um, that they're dry. They're really pretty. Everyone's filing in? Yes, sir. Two by two? Yes, sir. Like the ark? No. <laughs> They're not animals. Maybe a little too close, Maria said. Well, I may have to pull it towards us a little bit, too. Shirley's home. Uh, yeah, I know we're a little crooked, but it might be that I can fix it with the tray, I think. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I will, Jennifer. She meant, I think she was telling Maria because she said that we were crooked. We'll fix it as soon as we get these paintings off of here. Show them, Alan, so we can move them. And over here, <laughs> we have... That was a boy, Lameka. We don't have to pull up so far now. Still got some glare, though. Yeah. Probably because we're closer now. We added, what, three inches higher? So. The Farage always under construction. I know it. Are we ever going to be done? <laughs> you need to explain. Oh, um, that was not a Boilermaker, that first one. I'm sorry. That was the Rainbow Swipe. This was the black Boilermaker that we did. This was the last painting. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the first Boilermaker painting we did with the white. Why are you putting them in there? No, where do you want them? Not there. Where we always put them. Oh, okay. Got you gotta it. figure out how to set up that fork so I have no clue which way they go. And that was Alan's spinner strainer, wasn't it? Spinner strainer? Spinning strainer? Spinning strainer, yep. Yeah, Anna Osborne uploaded a Boilermaker pour today, but I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. She already gave me a heads up. <laughs> and last but not least. Your pour for? My, my quadruple. Oh, okay, Carol. Good to know. Was that how they went? I don't think so. No, I have no clue how they go, honey. It's like a puzzle. It is. It is like a puzzle. Put them together. You're not even in frame. It did. It dried beautiful. The gold is absolutely gorgeous. They're a little dark, though. Kind of like me. Are you dark? I'm a little dark. You shady? We gotta figure out how those go together. Yeah, I'll figure it out when I borrow some. Oh, well, you're not gonna resin them? Only if you want them resined, I will teach you how to resin. 
<laughs> All right, let me see if I can fix this really quick. Because the tray is even, so it's our camera that's off a little bit. That doesn't make it look so obvious. <laughs> no, surely those weren't tiles. Those were six by six canvases. Eight by eight, Zell. I'm sorry, eight by eight. He needs to learn his canvas sizes. Okay, so this was the flower pour from the videos. It dried beautiful. Love the silver in there. Hello, Kim. This is the neon. It still looks very dull here, but in real life here, it's really bright and it's really pretty. So where are they in fantasy land? No, I think the camera washes out the color. Because you said real life. Oh, good, Shirley. Where's the heart? Heart? Yes, the heart. Right there. Right where you put it. Right where I put it. And if you watch today's video, my music did not upload. But here is the heart all dried. She's cute. To put something in the middle. A little saying or something. But I like it. I like it now that it's dry. I can't have my spot. Ah. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's three videos back, so what, let's see, be three, three oh nine. I'm not sure. So I'm sitting on a wooden stool today because our table's higher. What do you guys want to see tonight? I am all ears. I have one little thing I have to do for Maria, and I'll do that on the next pour. But I have lots of canvases prepped. Hello, everyone that is joining us. Your butt is going to... I might one-cheek it. <laughs> as long as it's not a one-cheek sneak. The dustpan pour. Oh, Brian's. Oh. Yeah, I watched Brian's um, Hot Pocket one. We have Jennifer Lopez joining us today. Matt, I have never done a feather pour. Um, I would need to do one on my own first before I try it here. Because you guys all laugh at me if I don't do it right. <laughs> Hello, Sherry. Glad you could join us. So everything was different. I didn't have any two that were the same. There's another different one. <laughs> It called for sandwich pour. From I had everything flipping drags and. Hello, Mary Ellen. Hello, Monica. They want to see one of you, another one of your fabulous paintings. Well, I guess that means I go first then, right? <laughs> You're so mean to me today. Stop it. <laughs> Any PVC tubes? I do not have a PVC tube, but I do have a PVC joint. The rose pour. Yeah, my next one, Kristen, is going to be a dirty pour because I'm going to show Maria about layering in the cup. A lot of people are having trouble with getting mud. So I thought we'd do a quick lesson on layering. Raphael's here. He says... Hello, family. I'm watching today in the TV. Won't be able to chat. Not a problem. Glad you could join us. I don't know what a rose pour is. I've never done one. Oh, you re yes, you did, Maria. That painting was beautiful. Uh, 
All right. So it's the one with the string in the center. Oh, and you pull it out. I think, is it Tracy that did one? So you pull the string in a circle. Carol said somebody posted one in the Parage group. Yeah, I saw the painting. I just didn't, I haven't seen a video on that. Marisa's yeah, it was Tracy. Tracy. We can try one, right? Hola, Vivi. Lisa did her first boiler maker today. Who did? Lisa Alexander. Oh, don't, see, don't want to use that canvas. Can you guys see the spot? There's no gesso there. So I can't use that canvas. Would you like to stain yourself, Lucy? That was in the package. So I opened up my package of canvases, and there was one with a hole. So what I'll do is cut this off, and you can pour on um, just canvas. And then explain myself, Ricky. <laughs> Wait, I thought your name was Mana. Mana. Mana instead of Vanna. Mana Bite. Is Joe here? Just want to let her know I put Brian that. Brian likes your new shelves. They are cool, guys. I put Alan's paints on the top shelf in the corner because I can't reach up there. <laughs> that way she keeps her hands off them. Hello, Diane. <coughs> Glad you could join us. Okay. So I think I need a white base. I have my Parage Posse sweatshirt on. We might be able to christen it tonight. I've been really good. I didn't get any resin on it earlier. Brian wants to know, did you put them there or did I? I did. I, I sawed the boards, right? You saw them as I sawed they went them. up on the wall. No, I sawed the boards while you were out grocery shopping. <laughs> it was like a switch of rolls there. And I put all the brackets on and I put the first one up and then he helped me what he helped put the level on and help me get the last screws in. So I didn't do it totally by myself. The first ones I did though. So Shelly got a question. She says not all of her canvases are perfectly square. Anyone else having this issue? Perfectly square. Ooh. I've never checked them. I guess the only way you'd find out is if you were framing it or, you know, putting your corner things on. We'd like to welcome a first time watcher, Kim Lewis. Glad you could join us. So, Al, when you're um, tilting canvas, you got to really keep it up here because you'll be out of screen. Okay. Okay, boo. Okay. See a little clumpy right Brian there. says yours is a little bit crooked now. I thought I fixed it. Oh, my canvas? Brian did a great video on how to clean paintings. Watch that this morning, Mr. Brian. We have another first time follower and new to pouring, Lubna Badri. Hope I pronounced that correct. Did you miss Love your that? work. Thank you. Oh, so by the way, guys, the beach retreat, we are full. So I got my last person in today which booted um, one person kind of out. So it was an invite that I'd sent out and she had just gotten back to me today. So just want to let you know, we have all the rooms filled. We got Carol Netting. This is her first time watching. Welcome, Carol. So 
So what's the, what's the, our final count as far as people coming? Um. Well, I don't know. There's a few that are bringing their spouses. So I have, I even filled the bunk bedrooms, which I wasn't planning on doing, but people that wanted to double up, it worked out great. So we have, um, was it two, four, six, eight, nine, nine kings are full, two queens are full, and the two bunk bedrooms are full. Kristen says she might need a roomie. There you go, Carrie. Bunk up with Kristen. <laughs> Are uh, we still crooked? We're still crooked. crooked. Uh, Cheryl Delinko wants to know, where are you? We're in North Carolina. Now you're really crooked. Well, when I let go, I won't be. There. Definitely got to work on that camera. Because it should be out here. We have an extender on that, so we can bring it out. You'll probably bump your head on it, though. I'm going to have to lift it. Okay, so I think what I do is I dip my yarn out here in color and swirl. Brian said much better. Kristen wants to know, did she get a king room? Kristen, yes. Everybody's king except for the bunkies. And then I have, uh, I believe, Maria and Nate in the queen sizes. Melanie Harrison wants to know, what is the beach retreat you guys are talking about? Well, it's going to be a whole week next year. Not this year, next year in May. Um, we're going to be pouring Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and possibly Wednesday. We want the paintings to be dry by the time we leave on Saturday. So, um, But there's so much to do. Um, you can take the ferry out to Ocracoke Island. There's potters out there. There's all kinds of fun stuff to do over on the island. Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk. Um, uh, the Wright Brothers Aircraft Museum. Lots of great restaurants to eat at. Yeah, the Wild Horses in Corolla. Um, there's just a lot to do. I'm going to get a list of stuff. We're going back out in May this year to a different beach house. And I'm going to get a list of stuff together of things that you guys can go do while they're there. So I figured we pour the first four days. There's, that way you can go sightseeing and get your vacation time in, too. Everybody's telling you how to do this rose pour. Okay, I'm waiting. Well, Because no. I got crooked again. See? <coughs> uh, Circle. Am I using yarn? Right? Uh-oh. Camille's a little jelly now. <laughs> Don't be jelly. Now we just got to keep our fingers crossed that another hurricane doesn't come in and wipe, wipe it, it out. out. Well, we have traveler's insurance for that, just in case. We'll find another beach house. I saw one the other day that had 23 bedrooms. So if this goes good next year, we could get a bigger one. It's got to be like a plantation or something. Okay, so Amanda wants to know, what did you use to cover that canvas? That was just the white base paint that we mix. It's one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and about one part water. So how long am I cutting the string, guys? They're teaching me while I'm showing them how to do it. <laughs> That's terrible. I guess. A couple people are, are, let's see, Fantasy Dream Creation says, Monica, I should like chains better. Chain would be better? I have chain. You're right, Shirley. We're we're thinking big. So the next time we might need a convention hall. Mm. <clears throat> I got the coffees tonight, too, because I was dusting. Um... Marilyn Lynch said she did a swipe today with a little with a black middle and said it was pretty. Try it. Yeah, my chain. All right, we'll do chain. 
I guess we're doing. Memory is that you probably need three strings. One large one on the outside and one a little smaller for the next circle. And then the most will be the spiral. Oh, the it's middle. not all one circle? You guys need to explain to me. Well, you can watch the screen, hon. I can't read it all. So it's going so fast. Read, read. It's like playing. Tell her what to do. Let's see if she can do it. <laughs> Maria's like, I've been explaining. I haven't been twice. reading, Maria. I've been busy. <laughs> Explain yourself. All right. So I'm doing, is it, I'm putting three sets of, of chain on here. Is that what I'm doing? And my camera's crooked again. I'll fix it. <laughs> no, the screen is because my canvas is crooked to me. Okay. Oh, Carol from Vermont. Glad you could join us. So the first one's going to be short, and then the next two will be bigger, bigger, right? Correct. You're getting a heartbeat too. Huh? Ah, I don't need these issues today. Okay, wire cutters. <coughs> Allergy season again. As soon as it warms up. Okay, so there's one. Kathy's asking about Nate. Nate's uh, still sick. Um, I talked to him just a little bit ago, but I didn't ask him how he was feeling. Heartbeat still. I'm a bad girl. I'm a bad girl. Marie said the video she watched started from the outside. Why would you start from the outside? See? And Karen wants to know, where did you get your chains? Um, I think I got that at Home Depot or Lowe's. Wherever I find stuff, I'd buy it. <laughs> nope, Nate's here. He says he's alive. He's alive. All right, so I think I'm going to use Carmine. Because that's not really red and it's not really it's pink. Color on that Chiha. I don't know French. I don't know Polish. Well, you should know Polish. I yell at you in Polish all the time. Nina said the one she watched started from the inside, but she thinks it would be easier starting from the outside. Hmm. I'd rather do it from the inside because then you can put your chain on the outside edge of that feather. So. There's still heartbeat. I'm sorry I'm heart beating. Does that help if I put more stuff there? Okay, so this was my smallest chain. Yeah, it says go for it. I'm going for it. I'm starting in the middle. You got this. Hello, Malika. I hope this is the way that you pull it. Someone's going to yell, no, not that way. I don't like it. I don't like trying new stuff. <laughs> I'm such a baby, aren't I? You get set in your ways. Christophe says, Christina, who cares? It looks cool. Nina says, nope, from the from the middle opposite direction. LOL. Yes, she is out of her comfort zone, Amanda. I am. It's all your fault. Don't you blame me. I'm not blaming you, I'm blaming them. Don't blame it's all them you guys' either. fault. So I have to go the oh see I didn't have enough chain that way. Monica says the one she saw you cut the chain long enough to pull straight down the bottom. So am I going towards the middle now? Because I pulled it the wrong way last time. Try it. Okay. 
towards the pull middle. inward is what Nina Daniel says. It's hard to pull inward when you're, I should have put it on the turntable. Christopia says, Christina's flip cups, flip and drags are still out of her comfort zone. She's so bad at them. You guys, you know I'm going to mess with this just a little bit more when I'm done. Because I can't ever leave anything alone. Cheryl wants to know, is that the same color? Yeah. Why am I supposed to be using different colors? They tell me that now. <laughs> You'll see. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Kind of looks like my eyeball when I wake up Monday mornings. See, now I got I got to put another piece in there. Let me pull this one in first. Dang, Gideon says... Christina will make it look like a rose with her airbrush. She is the queen. I bow to her airbrush skills. You know why? Because I'm not afraid of it. That's why. Don't be scared. <laughs> Show it who's boss. Question, where do you get the carousel? Oh, the turntable? I have them in my Amazon shop. There's several different ones. Price ranges in there. Nate got the one for baking that came with some accessories. And he said it works great. Man, this is, this is Here comes the yarn. Awesome. Now, I have to play. Because to me, that's nothing. Oh, sure, Val. Call me out. What? She's just, that's okay. I don't want to talk to you anymore either. <laughs> Sorry, Val, but. I'm preoccupied. We have puppy dogs bothering us like crazy tonight. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Val. What comments? Matt had cookies for his birthday. Happy birthday, Matt. Okay, so Kitty's got a question. What ways can I store varnished paintings? Um, you can put them face to face as long as you've got parchment paper between them. Because I know after a while you run out of hanging room. But I put them in boxes and I cover the boxes with plastic. So they don't get dusty. Or... But you want to be careful. You don't want, you, they got to breathe. Because if you, you know, when you, I know when I open up a box of canvas just to prep it. You get that whiff of that gesso. So it's the same with paint. Sherry's got a question. She says she got her snap jewelry today in the mail. Do you have to use that diamond glue stuff or can you use E6000 to glue the skin to the glass stud also? I don't know. I've never tried it. Is Jenny here? I th I Jenny Post, are you here, hon? I saw Jenny here earlier. She said she was going to try to be here. Carol Kosky says you can use either one. Yep, Jenny's here. Okay, Jen, they're asking the E6000 question. I don't like this. Can I scrape this? <laughs> I gotta go let the puppies out. Thank you. They're letting me scrape. I love you guys. It's like a train wreck. Look how pretty, Alan. Did you scrape it? Yes, I asked them if I could and they said yes. That one I have to give a little more thought process to because I know the way you guys have seen it. 
because I've seen the finished ones. I just need to um, practice that a little bit just to, on my own. And if you tell me now to do a feather, I'm going to, I'm leaving. <laughs> so be honest, hon. What? How many times have you scraped and cleaned the canvas from what you didn't like? Maybe this is the fourth one. Okay. Normally I let them dry and I pour over them, but I don't pour over very often either. I do my best to save it. Brian says, she's scared. A scared. I'm scared cat. Cecilia says, uh, yours look better than the one she did. This is really pretty right here. Watch when I torch that. A couple people are calling for feathers. Oh, I'm going to kill you guys. <laughs> I've never done a feather either. Okay, Christophe's got a question. Should I use another color as a base or mix some Liquitex and white for my base? And has anyone done this? Use Liquitex medium with the base color and Floetrol medium with the rest. There's a lot there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not understanding what she's... Should I use another color color as a base or mix some Liquitex and white for my base? Oh, you can use any color for a base. Just mix it the same way. Um, we use Floetrol for our base paint. Yeah, yeah the rich part post. Christophia also, um, has anyone, okay, has anyone done that? Use Liquitex medium with the base color and Floetrol medium with the rest, which I guess is the rest of the paints. So Liquitex with the base, the white for the base. You're going to use a lot of Liquitex. It's cheaper to use the Floetrol. He put some water in there. Yeah. Don wants to know, why does the base paint have to be thinner than the rest of the Because you want your paint to glide. Like when you're tilting, that base paint's going to pull that paint and take it with it. But you only do it for certain pores. You don't have to do it for every pore you do. Because if you're doing it like for flip cups or for um, dirty pores, when you're tipping over the sides, you get the white speckles that we don't like. I mean, some people like them. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan. I take them as I get them, but it'd just be better not to have those happen. You really want all your color on your canvas. My camera's crooked again. There. there. <coughs> My goodness. All right. So I need to salvage this canvas with another pour quickly. So what I think I'm going to do, ew. Um. Yeah, we're good. It's not too okay. red. So, Can, Christophe uh, says, part one, Marie explained, I'm trying to use up all my flow trial. It hurts her lungs and gives her headaches. <clears throat> I wondered if anyone has used both pouring mediums in one work. Well, we do because we, we use flow trial in the base paint. Well, we also use it in that, but we use the glue all too. You can mix. It won't hurt it to mix. The, you'll get better cells with the Liquitex pouring medium, for sure. Now, Alyssa wants to know, have you ever tried Floetrol only as base? Not with any paint? No, don't do it. You have to have something to bind to the canvas. I'm just going to do a quick flip cup, guys, to salvage this canvas. Since it already has red and it's already contaminated. Leanne Daly said she did and she said it's not a good idea. No, I had someone else ask me that and I told him, please don't do that. All right, so I sprayed the cup with the WD-40 spray. And look at it. It's almost gone, Alan. He bought me a can over a year ago and I still haven't used it yet. This thing last. This has lasted me for over two years. Just so you know. 400 some paintings. Plus. Oh, more than that. Probably 800 paintings. Okay. 
Um, Valerie says, I will stand up and fight a seven foot man for any of her babies, but ask her to try a feather and she'll cower. Don't be scared, Val. I'm going to try one, but it has to be when I'm not. I might run the camera because if it turns out that I can just put it to music. All right. So I'm going to layer for a flip cup, which I don't normally do. So I use the hook, Soho hooker screen. Oh, and by the way, guys, I have 24 new colors coming from Soho. <laughs> I got more shelves. Gonna be this is Lucas Mint. Uh, Cheryl Delinquent wants to know: Is glue all as good for cells as Liquitex? Uh, no, Liquitex has its own. It's it's got its own thing. It's a totally different pour when you use Liquitex pouring medium. Now Jennifer's picking in. Would have gone faster if Alan would remember to spray his cook. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of teal topaz in there. Okay, Brian's got a suggestion. How about a video using three different mediums in one painting? Go ahead, Brian. <laughs> Sounds like an idea, Brian. <laughs> try it, try it. All right, so I'm going to put some black in there. So I'm kind of layering and then squishing just a little bit so some of it goes down. We'll throw some phalo green blue in there. Tracy, I'm trying to understand your statement. I want an unlimited amount of strainers for flot, F-L-O-T. This is DecArt Seabreeze. This is a paint we're trying to use up. We have a few. Cheryl Delinko wants to know, what paint are you using? So we use Soho and Lucas, but on the Metallics, we use mostly... Flojo. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That, that, that was Tracy's. I, I just Do I need the Chiha? No. Keep going. Paint. Okay. So, um, DecoArt, um, CraftSmart are mostly our metallics. We use craft paints for metallics. And we mostly use Soho and Lucas from Jerry's Artorama. We do have some Artist Loft in here, and we have some um, Lick and Liquitex. What are you giggling about, Alan? Brian's coming. What did Brian say? He said, it's on my channel title. What the hell did I do? <laughs> okay, I'll put a little more black in there. We are lollygagging tonight. I'm sorry, guys. Next time I'm coming in with a plan. <laughs> Throw some more Lucas Mint in there. And some Hooker's Green. Tammy's here. Saying hello to everybody. That goes over there. Yes, Tammy. It's only Monday. I have to get you, get um, acclimated with this new shelving. Okay. We're, we're going to call this Porage Mondays. It's a holiday every Monday. Is it? Do you get to take the day off? Because I could use your help on Monday. Oh, she's calling me Vanna Allen. No, it's Man of Vite. It's German. Man of Vite? Man of bite. <laughs> You're a dork. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Greens that I never use. Just for Monica. Monica loves your hooker. That doesn't come out quite right. Yeah, Alan, what's wrong with you? Carrie says, of course it's a holiday because they get to spend it with us. Oh. No, it's a holiday for us because we get to spend it with them. I love spending time with you guys. It's better than hanging out with Alan. <laughs> Not really, babe. I didn't say that. You're supposed to keep those all to yourself. I am? Look at that. 
thing I got going on in the middle there that's interesting. I'll probably have some cells come through that when I torch it. All right. Beautiful. See, scrape, redo, make something that you can live with. Don't be disappointed. Don't come in the parage and post your failures because they're not failures. They are all learning. We are there to help you. If you come up with something you don't like, maybe you did something wrong and we can help you. Marilyn says, nice recovery. I'm still trying to figure out how you got that green out of all that red and pink. Um, Jerry, welcome. Glad you could join us. It's the first time with y'all tonight. Good. We did a little experiment. That's why we have all the pink on the canvas or on the pad. I was not prepared for a new type of pour. But I fixed it. So Amanda wants to know, how much would these sell for? Um, I charge 30 cents a square inch. Um, and then it depends on what kind of varnish I use. And if I resin, it all changes the price. Um, in my Etsy shop, I have them a little bit higher because I offer free shipping. And I have to pay fees, so I charge just a little bit more. Oops. I'll wipe the bottom off. I'll give you guys a close up. So we totally lost a lot of the black, which was cool. So that hit the canvas first. It gave it a nice base. Kim Rody wants to know: Do we have a wait list for the pouring party in 2020? I'm going to start one. So if you guys are still interested, I'll put you on the list. Um, Carrie will be number one on that list. Carrie Hicks. Kim Rody, number two. We'll do Kim number two. Write it down now. <clears throat> they went quick, guys. I was surprised. I wasn't. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel today, we are very, very close to 60,000. So everybody that's here tonight and is commenting is already entered. I'm going to go through and write y'all down. How close are so, you? So we are like a hundred and something away. I should say, how close are you? Yeah, how close am I? How close are you, Alan? <laughs> I am so close. So close. But if you are re-watching this video, this is your only chance to enter. Because I'm not going to do the whole email me thing. Anymore. Maria's got gave us the update. 59862. And Bobby Moore wants to know, entered for what? Uh 60,000 subscriber giveaway. We give away paintings or coasters. I don't sure what the prizes are going to be at. Alan and I have not discussed. So gotta watch. It's a little tricky. It likes to turn by itself. All right, Mana. I don't like that. We gotta go back to calling him Vanna. <laughs> Canvases are all behind you on the rack. That one's got a niche, remember? Niche? Yeah. Don't Did you hear me snap my fingers at him? Pointing. I'm pointing. I do that with my dogs. I point and snap. Just like Eddie's there. Oh, Eddie. See? I point at him and snap and he goes back in the house. <laughs> Yep, as long as you have left a comment here tonight, you're automatically entered. Looks like my camera's going crooked again. That will be fixed by next Monday. This was a throw it all together and do our live tonight. Yeah, Ellen, what do you got for them tonight? I'm scared. He did get some new gadgets while we were out this weekend. I put them in your toy box. Yeah, Alan has yeah. a toy box. Thanks, Maddie. I didn't find the toys I went looking for yesterday. 
What, the bath toys? Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing, and they got to talking about those bath toys because they all have a rim on them. You'd have to put them that up is, on push pins. That's not a problem for me. Yeah, I know. There, I turned the tray cockeye down, so you'll be... <laughs> so you won't be crooked. So I'll be even then. <laughs> okay. Minus 30. Oh, burr. burr. So Sandra Lett had a very profitable and successful auction yesterday. I helped her out a little bit. She heard from everybody that bought paintings from her, so she did great. <clears throat> Some, somebody said they want me to suspend my toy box. I don't know about suspending it. Let's just say we have lots of toys. Diane, minus 30 is like frozen boogers. <laughs> right, right out. Even your tears from your eyes wouldn't even freeze. Oh, that's good, Kath. He's so slow. Hey. You had all day to pick something out. I was in meetings all day today. <laughs> Interviews and not my own. All the good toys are in the bottom. Thank you, Shirley. Yeah, Brian, that's true. I remember mom used to say the dog going out to go to the bathroom and then in the spring when the snow all mounts, it was like a minefield out there. <laughs> yeah, Alan's up, but right now he's on the floor in his toy box, just like a typical child. <laughs> Child. Thank you, Jody. Um, Nina, our fan mail address is on all of our videos down in the description. Um, it'll be on this one after it loads and processes. Did you find one? You found one. Oh, thank you, Maria. I didn't think to have you post that. What's that? Our fan mail address. You're supposed to suspend your toys as you pour so you can get better reaction. Yeah, that's why I got this little gadget up here that's holding did, the... Doug, did you hear him? It sounded like a little kid in a toy box, didn't he? <laughs> it's like the dog going in and grabbing his squeaky toys. So I'll do a video this week on who won. Um, that way it's easier for them to contact me too. Thank you, Judy. Done this one once before. I believe this was <laughs> what? Re Re Kendra's post. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys quack me up. So Diane wants to know what are your colors? Well. That's what they're here for. Oh, to tell you what colors to use? Because you're always so indecisive. Yeah, that too. Um, 
Lisa, I don't know if we've done cookie cutters yet or not. I'm trying to remember if Alan did a cookie cutter. I have not done a cookie cutter. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, I'm going to put a little base down. Watch it. You're all blurry. Get the mirror. Put the mirror there. It'll be good. There you go. That'll work too. Oh, Katie, go get some sleep, honey. Ginger ale, orange juice, Advil, warm blankies, and good movies. Or watch us on YouTube. Yeah, or watch us on YouTube. She's probably already seen all of our videos, though. We've been told we put lots of people to sleep. Yeah. That's really pulsating tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're going to have to raise that camera up next for next week. We're also going to have to uh, find a better way to mount it. I checked the screw on that one. It's too big. It doesn't screw into the webcam. Monica said, no way you always make her want to get up and paint. <laughs> I don't like it when you snicker like that. I mean, somebody's making. Thanks, Val. We did get a lot of donations through PayPal last Monday, and I thank you guys very much for that. I know I should acknowledge that. But some people don't want their name out there. <laughs> Which is understandable. Yeah. But we appreciate all the support that we get from everyone. Well, that's good, Carol. I'm happy that you like them or love them. <laughs> Paintings from the last, last auction? Yes. Okay, I want colors. peacock colors, Alan. Peacock colors. I'm going to suspend this a little. Purples and magenta. Thank you, Kathy, for that. Yeah, we YouTube takes 30% of our donations. So when we do it through PayPal, I think it's like, what, 4%? Something like that. Did you say poiples? Poiples. Oh, good. Carol got hers. Blues, turquoise, and purple. And then if you put a lime green in there, you'll have peacock colors. Uh, uh, what? Um, <laughs> Monica got all 50 of hers. <laughs> Monica, you yeah, only won nine. Yeah, that was fun nine. packing that box. <laughs> she only won nine. Welcome, Fran. Valerie's mom. We're always looking for Nina gadgets. Got hers. Too. Okay, so back to the colors. I'm sorry. Peacock colors. Yes, peacock colors. Won the vote. Okay, so I got purple. Turquoise. Where'd you put the turquoise now? I know you can't find the colors right in front of you over here. Thalo or? No, no, over here. Turquoise. Oh, this is turquoise. True turquoise, too. Lucas? Yes, Lucas. Oh. Sorry about that. I'm be knocking things over. Everything's discombobulated. Lime green. Lime green. Kathy, I just got, we just got a new one at TJ Maxx. It's like a steamer bowl. Oh, I know ones you're talking about, the Healthy Choice ones. Now we have them in the freezer. We just got to get somebody to eat them. <laughs> Okay, I got lime green, turquoise, axazine violet. What else? I think 
we need a, a dark color. Can you guys hear my dogs whining? My little Yorkie is whining at the door. I think I go with an olive green too. Green or a gold, because you want blue, green, and gold, and purple is just like an accent. About rose gold? No, or gold. Well. Soho gold? Uh, no, actually, he's used this juicer before. I think this is the one that Jennifer this sent This is the one Jennifer sent, yep. Jennifer LeFon sent him this one. Is there yellow in peacock feathers? I didn't think there was. He's got the gold, so he should be good. Oh, God, no, Carrie. <laughs> He's miserable. Who? Arthur. I'll post yeah. I'll post a picture on the parage of Arthur and Eddie. I didn't see those, Maria, because I was busy all day. I was trying to keep up with messages today. Oh, my goodness. Every time I put a tack in the back of a canvas, my thing would go ding. <laughs> when I come over, I have like five messages. I will. Yeah, now they hear them. <laughs> Oh, they're in. Eddie's in, and Arthur can't come down the stairs because he's so old. So he's whining because Eddie's down here. Okay, so the first color is dioxazine violet. Next one is Soho olive green. Um, Cindy, wait 12 to 24 hours before you recoat with resin. Followed by Grumbacher, phthalo yellow green. I'm going to page Chris and tell him to come get his dog. I think he already did. <laughs> Lucas Turquoise. He's not even our dog anymore. My son kind of confiscated him. So he wants Eddie to come in the house. Eddie, go in the house. Go. Go. So then he'll stop whining. Go. Go take him to Chris. And then so and he did. <laughs> That wasn't Eddie Maria. That was Arthur. I named my dogs after my grandpa's. My other dog was Henry. And I thought it was about kings. No. I think I need a splash of white in there too. Um, that's where I would do yellow. Do a just a little bit of a pale yellow. Yeah, that. How about pastel? No, there? that's too light. Go with the Naples. Just a little bit though. Okay, artist lot Naples yellow. Thank you, June. 
Yeah, that purple lake would be pretty in there. This is where we need a side view in the cameras. I know. Alan bought me another webcam for Christmas. We thought we could set up both of them. We just haven't gotten around to doing any of that techie stuff. I have a brand new Canon I wanted to use for filming. Still in the box. Just like, like, my, just like my cricket. Just like your cricket. <laughs> Somebody suggested earlier you should be doing something for the center of your heart. Yeah. Painting using the cricket. Yep. Thank you, Sherry. We're here to help. Um, if you join us on Facebook, you can ask all kinds of questions there if you want to uh, learn more. We have quite a bit in our tutorial section, though. I'm going to be adding to that shortly. Some new updated videos. Christopher? I don't think it's Chris. I think it's the other one. <laughs> the other one? The other one. And yeah, what are you doing about the missing spot, the space in the juicer? It's taking care of itself. Fine. Did you hear that, Don? <laughs> it's taking care of itself. Mandy said, add some bright royal blue after this one, probably. A bright royal blue. Yes, right in front. Um, How about a Prussian blue? No, that's too dark. I would go with like a phalo blue. Lucas no. That's bright. No. That one right there. Halo? That's yep. not quite as bright. It will be darker when it dries, though. Okay, so Lucas, they look blue. Say mauve. <laughs> mauve. Yeah, Shelly, um, Belle's mom is Fran. Got a lot of newbies tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're being a little silly tonight because we're both exhausted, but... That's what makes it fun. The paint is just piling, uh, piling up in the center there. Starting to look pretty. Did you put purple in there? Dioxazine violet on the outside. Oh, uh, you need a brighter purple. Try the prism violet from Liquitex just now so you get some purple in there. I'd go like purple gold and then I I shouldn't tell you what to do. Don't stop now, hon. What? Don't stop now. What? Stop telling you what to do? You don't want me to stop telling you what to do? How did we end up with eight colors on the <laughs> table? Well, I, wouldn't I, have started used, with... I wouldn't have used the olive green, but that's that's you. You can use it when you want. You don't want to get too much paint on there because you really want to stretch it to give it that peacock look. Well, I'm going to stretch it. You know that. You're being so good putting the caps back on. <laughs> it's 
I don't want to get scolded tonight. All right. He's already lifting. Mmm, that's going to be pretty when you stretch that out. Oh, did you put a cup in the middle? I did to elevate it a little. Oh. Maybe it'll run in. It will. Yeah, he's using a juicer. Courtesy of Jennifer. I almost don't want to move it, but there's too much pain. Yeah, you have to stretch that. I know. That's pretty. I'm like, this is stretch out. I want to see the green. See those ends, how they're stretching out? It's absolutely beautiful. This may be one you might want to take off the, the, the center. You used eight different colors? Yes. Wow. Nine, actually. No, eight. Okay. I know those wispy ends. I there's just something about them that grabs my eye every time I do a painting, and I just want to stop right there, you know. I'm worried about the middle, L. I'm not worried about the middle. Okay. <laughs> Tender Putin. <laughs> Sandra had a. a person on her auction yesterday whose name was um scootin', scootin and scootin and putin for your hemorrhoids <laughs> so every time they place a bid she'd start to giggle a little bit it was funny I know I, I really I like that when he had negative space, but I used to line dance at a place called Boot Scootin'. Still got a lot of paint on there. But I'm loving that turquoise in there with that green and the purple. <laughs> um, we use Liquitox gloss varnish. And if we run out of that, we use Minwax polycrylic. But I've just bought another gallon of Liquitex, so we're good. That's pretty, boo. I wish that middle would do a little more, though. Yeah, you need to, like, pull that in with a skewer or something. You can stop right there, hon. It looks really good. Just do something with that middle. Get my finger and stick it in the middle and twirl around a little. Um, we use stone coat countertop epoxy on the coasters. Um, only because I have the countertop epoxy. I had ordered that before the art coat, but you can use the art coat. I'll be using that when I'm done with the countertop stuff. Yeah, there's there's his eight colors. Right, Catherine? <laughs> That's why he uses so many different colors.
he's just going to pull just the light um, line in as all well. to the center on that to the edge. Right where they're all going is where you should keep going to that one point. Catherine says she thinks she loves that one the best out of all of your paintings. Those colors are insane. <laughs> they are insane. Can't be afraid of color. No. I'm glad you put that violin in there. That was a good suggestion. Then. Yeah. I'll pat you on the back. No, not with, not with paint on your hands. <laughs> That's going to take a while to dry, though. There's That's still okay. a lot of paint on there. It's winter. They'll dry slow anyway. Fifty-eight thousand eight sixty-eight. We should be at sixty by maybe by morning. We want that big one hundred, huh, Bo? <laughs> well, you gotta get sixty before you get a hundred. That's true. We'll be doing probably another big giveaway at seventy-five. Slow and steady wins the race. That's right. We want to retain who we have. Because you guys are all amazing. Come That's going to continue to bleed into the center. And you may get some cells coming up through there. He's got some little cells in there now. Got some big ones towards the center too. Yeah, I like those juicy cells like that. Again, thank you so much, Jennifer, for sending that gadget. I love my gadgets, my toys. What's that saying? He who has the most toys wins. Might need a bigger toy box. You so. might, yeah. You might. You see any skins there you want? Oh, probably. Tiles. Oh, tiles. Like I don't have a hundred too many now. You don't have enough. <laughs> I've got like 40 waiting to go in. I don't know if I'll get, yeah, I might get four out of there. I'm quicker at this than you are, huh? Yeah, we've been while we getting into that. Yeah, we have. Let's get serious. Let's get lay serious. down some paint. We need to slay some paint. I'll hand them to you. We'll get it done quicker. So this is how we use our leftover paint on the pad. We make tiles with them. And I also pull skins for jewelry. Somebody dripped on the floor because he's cleaning up paint. Huh. Oh, almost dropped it. One edge there that's Where, right here. Where do I want to go next? Oh. 
Beth says the full quote is, he who dies with the most toys wins. That's true. Okay. Have it. You can have it. I what? Oh. You're catching my disease. I hope not. Messy, messy. I come out here and I'm like, what did he do now? <laughs> Good thing you're at work all day. When I find your messes, I yell. See? See? See what you did? <laughs> this is just photo paper. We use this shiny side up. I did order some more um, waterproof paper and some Yupo. So we're going to be doing a lot more jewelry, I think. Now that we're using Jenny's snappers. Jerry wants to know, do you resin the tiles? I do, yes. With um, stone cold because it's heat resistant to 500 degrees. That way your hot coffee cups don't stick. Those are pretty. Those are pretty. One more. All right, I'll get this mess cleaned up. So you can make another one, right? Okay, Jerry wants to know, how long do I wait for the acrylic to cure? Okay, so once your painting is completely dry, you can touch it, which is usually three days. I think he's asking about the tiles, though, because he was the one that asked that if you use Move that. resin and the tiles. But go ahead. Sorry. Well, we let everything cure at least three weeks before we put anything on it, whether it's a painting or a tile. You want that cure time. There are a lot of chemicals in paint that need to be, the vapors need to be exposed. So you want to let the, that stuff cure. If you seal it too soon, you run the risk of mold developing underneath. Not good. Or if you're putting like the varnish on top or the resin on top and it's not completely bound to the canvas yet, you run the risk of it peeling off. Haven't had it happen yet, but there's always a first, right? Okay, so quick and easy cleanup. So while I'm setting this up, if you guys have watched the video on the snap jewelry, Thank um, you, Jenny has restocked her store a little bit. She's got a wonderful support from our viewers. And just real quick. And Teresa wants to know, do you have any other projects using the pretty tiles? I don't understand what means. I think she's wondering, do you use them in... <coughs> bathroom or oh like stuff like that um no um sherry from sherry's life is in the process of making a coffee table with hers might want to check her out uh, jody baker wants to know what is a good heat gun to purchase she says she thinks her torch is leaving white spots um I, don't know if else has experienced I have this. one in my amazon shop it's red let me just turn this real quick. It's off again, sorry. I can't remember what the brand name is on it though. So if you watched the video, we made snap jewelry. Um, Jenny sent me these little snappers and I used up some skins and made some snaps. So all you do is you make your acrylic skin, you put it in with the cabochon, snap it in, 
and you have yourself a necklace. So let's say the next day you're wearing blue, you can snap that out and you can change it to blue. Easy peasy. Your Tamara says, you made that look so easy to scoop the paint out of the tiles. It doesn't work that way for me. It takes practice. <laughs> it didn't work the way, that, the way for me. Alan's getting much better, though. He's a little slow, but he's still getting better. So you can snap just about any color skin you have in there. And Jenny has all of this in her Etsy shop. Um, Jen, you want to post a link to your Etsy shop? If it doesn't go through, I'll have one of the mods okay it. So those are a lot of fun to make. I've been having a ball. I made my mom a bunch. Um, I need a canvas. <clears throat> we are going to do a dirty pour. We are going to do a Earth Tony dirty pour. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a bigger hex than I normally have. And I'm going to need a focal so it doesn't heart beat out on me. Nina wants to know, why does her comments keep disappearing? Um, She's getting frustrated. If you're commenting too much, it'll time you out on its own. I'm just looking. Why? Because everybody's making comments, too. It, Jenny maybe. posted it. Thank you, Monica. So the heat gun name is Amtake. All right, so one of my viewers and sister wants to learn how to layer colors for earth, earth tone pour um, without getting a lot of mud. So I thought I would do that tonight for her. So we're going to do two cups, and I think maybe three on this. We won't fill them all the way. They're small ones. Jerry says you froze on the answer for the time to cure for the coaster. Could you give it again, please? Oh, um, when it's dry to the touch, two to three weeks or longer, because you don't want what's underneath that paint if it's not dry to mold out on you and peel from the canvas. Those binders have to have time to work. They need to ex express their fumes and their chemical fumes so that they bind correctly to the canvas or to the tile. So two to three weeks. At the least. Not the way Eddie expresses himself. Okay. It's hard. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with some Deco Art Worn Penny. This is a beautiful dark copper from Deco Art. Poor, poor artist Libby Nutter is here. And I'm going to join us. Throw in some Craft Smart Gold. Uh, that's Champagne Pearl, actually. I notice when I shake these bottles, they spit. Good night, Mel. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so I don't have a ton of Van Dyke Brown, so this will be used sparingly. So instead, we'll throw some burnt umber in there. Uh, no, burnt sienna would be better. Burnt umber's a little too dull. All right, so then I want to introduce some lighter colors to contrast the darks. So we'll use some Lucas Sand. Good night, Judy. Get some rest. Good night, Judy. Um, let's put a little Lucas Caramel in there. And I think I'll throw just a little bit of espresso in there. This is another metallic. Okay. Any other color, Maria, you want in there? Okay, so I'm going to start with the sand. 
because it's kind of on the, it's a deep opaque color, so that'll act like a white. You don't have to push through all those other colors. Grant said good night. Good night. So then I'm going to go in with the Deco Art Rich Espresso. Tina Lewis is new, and she says new to the pouring. She absolutely loves your work. Thank you. No so I silicone. Wanna, I want to, these are all silicone. I want to highlight color, so that's why I picked the Lucas Caramel. I'm going to go with just a tad of the sand on top of that, just to encase it. Sabby wants to know how we're doing tonight. We are doing awesome. Thank you. I hope you are too. I'll go with some Warren Penny. Follow that with the Champagne Pearl. Got to highlight every color you put in your cup. You don't want to put two dark colors next to each other because they just will get lost. So we're going to go with the Creative Inspirations Burnt Sienna next, which is a little richer, a red-brown. I'm going to follow that with a little bit of sand. And then we're going to go in with the Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to layer the top. And then I'm going to come through. I'm going to squeeze that down the middle. Monica loves that sound. That. <laughs> she says the blurb sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. Are we ready? We're ready. Caramel showed up. Welcome to the party. <laughs> and this is where I place color because I like different lines. I don't like anything like a full band. I like to play. Diane Tucker wants to know, what is your favorite shaped canvas? I really like 10 by 20s because they're you can use them for so many different things. You can do a couple of bottle bottom pours on them, um, dirty pours, flip and drags. You can do three flip cups on them. It's a very versatile canvas. It's not too big. No, it's not real big. They're easy to ship too. I know I'm just seeing what that band is going to do before I pull. So on a hex, though, you have so many, I call them corners. <laughs> you need more cuppy hands. I don't like to cuppy hand on these canvases because you really have to let it flow over that side. Brian, totally lost my brown. Brian says he likes 24 by 30s. I like 15 by 30s, too. Um, I, I'm more of a rectangular kind of girl, I guess. I should have used more brown. But this will dry darker than what it is, too. I hate to lose that little bit that I have there. I'm going to push it, and then I'm going to push it back in get rid of that. One of my paints in there, one of the metallics is pretty watery. So you can see how that's moving so fluid. I don't like that. I don't like it. But 
We have to work with what we are given. Don't know why it's so watery. Ryan says, slam that paint around. I do. I whip it all over the place. That's one thing I'm not afraid of paint. I don't think anything on this paint wall intimidates me. Color. Pink. Red. Pink. Pink is the toughest one for me to work with. And I, my favorite crayon in the crayon box was magenta. You would think that I would like to work with that color. That's another thing, guys, when you're torching, don't stand directly over your painting. You don't really want to inhale those fumes. Just step back, use your arm. Normally we have the vent on, but it was pretty warm out here tonight. I had to resin today, so I had it cooking in here. Yeah, it wasn't 30 below. Oh my goodness, that one day it was so cold outside, it never got warm in here. All right, so this is a question that I get asked all the time. Why can I see my canvas right there? That is silicone. So all you have to do, if it's on an edge like that, it's easy to repair. You rub it, tip it off. I'll get it down there. But there's other ways you can do it too. Let's say you don't want to have to pour it off. You can pick up, rub it first. You want to get it off of there. Pick up something that's going to match and just place that on there and let it fall over the edge. So this is earth tone. When it dries, you're probably going to see that caramel like crazy. It's still really moving. I really got to dump some more off of there, guys. I don't like that. Good night, Violetta. Sorry about your phone. Sorry about the power having to be restored. Okay. That's better. As long as it's not jiggling, I'm good. All those edgies. So that's it for that one. Questions on that layering, hit me up on Facebook if you need more info. Your heart beating. I'm out of there with it. So Deb H says, I still have not seen a feather. Hmm. <laughs> if I have time this week, and I'm saying that truthfully, I will attempt one. Nicole Johnson wants to know what what was the red? The red um, that was that burnt sienna from Creative Inspirations. It's a pretty color, and then of course we also used the Deco Art Orn Penny, so that made a that might have given us a little red hue too. Oops. Did you notice this, Alan? Notice what? My um oh, your erasers are organized by color. <laughs> Do you want to know how much time I spent on that? Probably an hour. Who were you talking to while you were doing it? Nobody. Kitty wants to know what is it that you use to pull the fumes out? She says she needs to get something for her room. Yeah, you need to get an exhaust fan. Um, put a fan in the window and have it blow outside. I have to pick up that one skin. It's too pretty to leave Just it there. One Just one. Anytime I can get one with brown in it, I try to grab it. Oh, Maria, she says she does the same thing with her erasers too. She says it's hard to find packs with the purples in it that's reasonable. 
Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yeah, I ordered some from AliExpress. I think I got, was it 200 for like $350? So when I was at TJ Maxx, I bought this cute little container and I sorted them all. So we have all the colors. If you're not using a paint wall and all your bottles are on tables, that's the best way to find your hues of colors. So she didn't, they don't have Dollar Trees there. Well, Maria, when you come out next year, we're going to go to Dollar Tree and get you some erasers. I'll send you some. Good night, Shirley. Thank you for joining us. Get your rest. All right, Al. What are you doing next? Ugh, I hate to waste that one. And I didn't get paint on my Prash Posse sweatshirt yet. It's coming. Well, it's a good thing we don't have a video or a camera viewing us. Because I forgot to put my apron on. <laughs> oh. Silly boy. But I did spray my gadget. I know. It's my OCD, Diane. <laughs> My hangers in the laundry room are all by color. Oh, God. And when I have to do laundry? What do you mean when you have to do laundry? When I have to do laundry. He doesn't do laundry, you guys. Yeah, right. Maybe when I'm in New York for three weeks, but yeah. Yeah, everything I organize by color. My paint wall is by gradient. Oh, those are the Christmas ones. Show Maria those. Look at these, Maria. They're Christmas trees. Christmas tree erasers and little reindeer. <laughs> Snowmen. <right>. Paint. <laughs> cool. They're coot. Good night, Jenny. Fried dill pickles. I want some. <laughs> yeah, he does laundry when I'm on vacation visiting my mother. He doesn't have choice because he runs out of clothes. I have so many clothes. He's got enough clothes I for never run three out weeks of now. <laughs> when they start piling up on the floor. But the hamper overfloweth. She took down the, in rearranging the shelves, she took down the uh, what? rulers oh. that we never use. Well, that's a 10 by 20 that you have there. Is that one of my brand new ones with the gaskets? No, it was prepped and ready to go. Let me feel. Yeah, that's gasket. There's one over there that isn't gasketed. It's on the rack. He's not allowed to use the gasketed canvases yet. <laughs> right, right where your hand's at. That's 10 by 20. Yep. I haven't been promoted. You haven't been promoted yet. I'll just go out and buy my own. I got my own Michael's gift card. <laughs> okay. Just gotta wait till I get a good deal. Tara, just wipe them off before you put them back. That way they always stay clean. That's I'm trying to teach Alan that because I can't handle dirty paint bottles. Teach me what? To wipe the paint bottles off. Well, I just get to clean them when they're empty. Got two buckets full to do right That's now. That's your job. I think it comes from being a mom. It really does. As, as your kids get older and leave the house. Mom and OCD. And your house stays clean all day. Then it's like you don't want anybody to mess anything up. So then you develop this OCD thing. Because when we bought this house, it was brand new. And I never wanted it to be 
looking like it was lived in for a long time. I wanted it to stay new looking. So everything is like um, sparse. <laughs> it's getting worse now, though, because we're starting to add more stuff. But <laughs> drives me crazy. Probably, Brian. <laughs> I have a heart. <laughs> You're silly. I have a hard time watching Marcy because her paint bottles are so dirty. Some people just don't. It's let just it being an artist. Some people are just artists. They don't care. That's their, that's the least of their worries. I'm just the opposite. Time for a flip and drag. Oh my gosh! You're gonna do a flip and drag. Do a flip and drag. Maybe not as good as yours, but. Um, we soak them in hot dish soap water and we use baby bottle brushes to scrub them out. And then we put a paper towel down in them with a skewer and dry them out. It's not hard. You definitely want to use like Dawn dish soap or something because if you have silicone in your bottles, you want to make sure you're getting the silicone out. Okay. So I heard... Some people are afraid of pink. I ain't afraid of pink. Valerie, he's now Mana, not Vanna. <laughs> she called you Van Allen. <laughs> yeah, I ignored that one earlier. I didn't like that. You didn't like it. He I wants like to be Mana. <laughs> We do have to do something about the white gloves. We got to find a source for black gloves. So. Harbor Freight. I keep telling you that. We rode by there again this weekend. Because white gloves are just not manly. Your hairy arms work just fine. Maria likes Valen. No, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, I've done a, quite a few black and pink flip and drags in my time. Oh no, John. So sad when our paintings get ruined. That's funny, Sherry. <laughs> Is it because you paint out in the shed, Sherry? Is that why? Jen says she gets them at Harbor Freight. Okay, so I'm going to use Lucas Rose, Artist Laugh Bronze. And how did it come out, Christopia? Soho Rose Matter. And then Lamp Black. Mana, M A N N A. <laughs> I prefer GM. GM? Yeah. Gadget Man? Yeah. Yeah, he's known as Gadget Man. Gloves, Maria. The black gloves. That sounds pretty. If you're in the Praj Posse, make sure you post a pic. I want to see it. <laughs> 
Darnell's asking you a question. What's that? Did you spray the cup? I did. You don't have a white base down? No. Well, are you doing a flip and drag? Are you doing it the old way? All right. Flip your cup first and then put the white down. Okay. It's harder that way. but I never, I never do anything the easy way. You know that. He's doing it the old way, how the we used to do way. it. <laughs> Darnell says, good. You have so many moms, Alan. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking so forward to... The beach. The beach. <laughs> How many moms am I going to have there that, that oh, week? You're going to have at least a dozen. But Ellie's coming, so you'll have someone to goof around with. We had 170 some people in here and we're down to 147. Oh, I scared them all away. He is not going to be the only man. We have a couple of ladies bringing their hubbies. Thank you. <laughs> not that I don't love you, ladies. And, and but... Nate will be there. So he gets along with Nate. Alan's harem. <laughs> Aw, am I your mama, Val? <laughs> That's interesting. You're going to run out of white. I'm not going to run out of white, but I do need to poke my cup. And you're down to the canvas, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. It's salvageable. I have total faith in you, Alan, because you always pull it out your arse. Where? Your arse. I'm just curious to see how you're going to move that color without any white there. Oh, you're really scraping. It's going to move. What are you humming for? Because I'm trying to understand why I put a dirty cup on a blank canvas. Oh, Boo, listen, you have to have paint down before you can do that. I'm sorry. There's um, another whole bottle. Of, no, no, no. There's another whole jar of white paint right there. Why What's in this one? That's pouring paint. You could do an infusion too. You could just shake that first. That's been sitting for over a week. Remember how Elise takes the bottle and shoves the white up in the color? That's trying what, to tell that, me. That's what they're telling me. Shove it. That's how the gaps get all stuck. <laughs> Um, Elise Fournier, Brian, watch her. It's E L Y S E. Damn. 
I don't think she's in the Farage Posse, though. I need to invite her. We've got some kick-butt talent in our group, for sure. But yes, he does, Val. What's that? You always pull a miracle out of your arse. <laughs> Thanks, Christopia. Okay, here we go. He's putting his where, paints away. That means he's going? done putting color on there. <laughs> where are we going? I have no clue where you're going with this. Sherry, I, I thought I taught him well, but he knows what he's doing, he said. So I'm just leaving him alone. He's got a plan. Have faith, young grasshopper. You're really stretching out yourself, so. That's okay. It's okay. That's it's okay. okay. Remember to go back to the middle before you go back down there. <laughs> That's true, Maria. What's that? He's had some pretty interesting paintings. There's no mistakes in art. There is a dragon's head right here. That's what they're saying. It's a I'm dragon gonna, eating a snake. I'm going to totally lose it. It's got a mouse. A mouse tail. See, Brian, you already watched her and didn't even know it. <laughs> What's that? What did I miss? Elise. Elise Fournier. Mm -hmm. I like to watch her. Look at those cells on those edges. Yeah, Brian, try one. They're fun, actually. I did one a few weeks ago. The thing is, when you're shoving that white paint in, I used the base paint and had better luck than using pouring paint. Because it's thinner. So it's going to break that paint apart more. Sherry, watch how much paint you're using. If you're using more than half of an inch in a cup, that's, too, that's plenty. Don't use more than that. You can move that paint around with the cup. And just go in and pull it. Oh, where, oh, where did Pete's dragon go? <laughs> you killed, you slayed the dragon. <laughs> Carefully don't zigzag. Yeah, I don't even remember, Maria, what colors he used. I know it was pink and black. <laughs> I 
I have to say that the coconut milk hair serum gives you a bigger cell than the treadmill silicone. But you also run the risk of it pitting your canvas because it's so heavy. It's not me, Alexis. It's Alan painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't see his hairy arms with the camera up a little closer. <laughs> huh. Oh, what? I don't know, Deb. Maybe I, I don't know your paint consistency. I can't see it. So you might be too thin or you might be too thick, but you should be getting cells with that. Maybe overstretching. I'm I'm not sure. Well, it was supposed to be a flip and drag carry, but he kind of flipped it and flipped drug it, it, but he didn't drag it on white like I thought he was going to. I flopped it. You flopped it? I flopped it. Well, at least you admit it. Kendra's telling you to stop. <laughs> Step away. No, 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 no. Yeah. There's a purpose to my madness. He's filling the canvas. Katie's like, my goodness, stop. <laughs> Good night, Carrie. So many moms. I think, William, that's the one that I saw today was the 17 different colors. It was impressive. That's what I don't like right there. That's good, Val. <laughs> oh, they were Allen's. <laughs> what? She thought she could tell them all apart who's or who's. See, I'm not fond of that gray that he got. That's the bad thing with working with pink and black with white. You get the gray and the, I call it like a drowned out pink. But I think I did that those colors when I first started YouTube. Don't be afraid of pink. And yeah, we don't have any trouble getting cells. If you're using good silicone and your paint consistency is good. You don't want to use too much silicone. That's another reason you may get no cells because you just... They're smearing into each other. And also, when you're doing flip and drags, with your base coat being thinner, your edges of your painting will just pop with cells um, to the point where they look fragile, like little tree limbs, kind of. Or you may get dendrites. Like Fraggle Rock. That's an old show. I used to watch that with my kids. <laughs> I 
could be Deb. Um, if you're doing cups of paint, I wouldn't put more than two in there. Happy little accident. What are you thinking? No comment? No comment. <laughs> Your peacock pour blew us away tonight. My what? Your peacock pour. So everybody that's here, make sure you leave a comment. That way you're automatically entered for the 60,000 subscriber giveaway. If you are watching this video after the live, leave a comment below and I'll enter you. Um, and that will close, let's say today's Monday. I'm going to close it on Wednesday and we'll do the drawing. Any questions, put them in caps and we'll get those answered for you tonight. Yes, Trish. Pink is good. Oh, Val's asking for one more from, from you. Thank you, Monica. Posting my link to my channel. Val, we're pooped. <laughs> Deb is the drawing a prize a huge feather. Deb, I promise I will try one this week. And I know you want it on a big canvas, too. <laughs> yeah, they want to see the peacock one again, Ellen, before we leave. Uh, let's see if I can get out of here. Okay, He's going to show it, guys. That's pretty. See how the middle's changing? The glare. Sorry. I, I think what Deb would really like would be the Navajo colored feathers. I think the turquoise, black, red. Oh, my heart balloon smash. I can do that. Do we know? No, they want to see it. This was my heart balloon. Dried really pretty. But it needs something in the middle, a little saying or something. But I liked when I dipped that balloon in the white and went back in. It really made it prettier. That one was a struggle for me. But I kept at it. Persistence. And I still got no music. <laughs> yeah, cricket time for sure. Thank you for joining us, Holly, and thank everyone for joining us. I have to keep working on that balloon smash. You know me. I have to perfect everything. That rose you guys had me do in the beginning will not be seen again. <laughs> not until I at least figure it out. Um, fantasy, that's a rough one. Um, I have the same problem, like on my gallery wraps, getting everything to look smooth and not drippy. Yeah, it's just watching it as it's starting to set up and make sure you just keep touching those. So what other events do we have coming up here? Um... Just the 60,000 subscriber giveaway. We don't have any auctions coming up until probably the end of February. Oh. 
Yeah, Carrie, if we get any um, cancellations, honey, I will let you know. And Kim Rohde is the next one on the list, correct? Yeah, yep. he wrote them down. Okay. Value going live. Sharon, glad you could join us for the first time live. Well, Sharon, keep watching us on Monday nights because tonight was kind of dull for me. Because <laughs> I like to really play with paint, but... Um, she got taken out of her comfort zone. I did. I got taken out of my comfort zone. So normally I like to do at least one flip and drag and something fun, but. Who is a little wonky, Maria? The camera. Yeah, we're going to work on that some more. Yeah, we'll have that fixed by next Monday. Um, Nina, I had that problem like last week, but it's not doing it this week. So I'm going to say it's probably the weather. Um, is it really humid or really dry? You know, it's, it's drying paint and it has to be like the perfect atmosphere. Or you just might've got a couple of pieces of paper that weren't good. Yeah, I lost a couple of pretty skins from that a couple weeks ago, actually. Poltergeist. Yeah, it's really cold. I think that's probably the reason I bought some Yupo paper, so I don't have the problem with it curling at all either, and it will dry completely flat. So thanks so much for watching, guys. We're going to... Get off of here because I'm exhausted. I need a good night's sleep. <laughs> Everybody's chit-chatting with each other. Brenda wants to know. Do yes, you I do, Brenda. I do use silicone in all my bottled paints. So I, I, if I'm going to mix it up separate, I would let you know if it didn't have silicone. Yeah, we can't do that here, Val. <laughs> we have five people living in this house. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Good night, guys. We love y'all. And we'll be talking to you on the giveaway video. And we will see you all next Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for our live pouring. If you have more questions, hit us up on the Paraj Posse or on my Christina Welch art page. Or you can send me an email to christinawelchart at yahoo.com. So, um, watch for coming videos yep. from both Christina and myself. If you're re-watching this and you're not live with us tonight, make sure you leave your comment in the comment section below to be entered for the 60,000 subscriber giveaway. That's about it. Good night, guys. And we will talk to you soon. Bye now. Good evening.